in this part, I'm going to quickly go over sorting, filtering, and grouping in Airtable. So within your base, you can filter, group, and sort within each table. Filtering is great if you want to only see your records by certain criteria. So let's say the type is rugs and we want to only see it uh, by in stock. So right now I'm seeing rugs that are in stock and out of stock and that's because I have or here instead of and. So that's one thing to keep in mind is um, how you're thinking about your filters, if they're mutually exclusive or not, and picking the right operator and or or. So now if I change it to and, I will only see rugs that are in stock. And when you are filtering, the, the field types that you are filtering on will be the shade of green. So you can tell that you're in a filtered um, view. Filtering is great if you're going to share a view so that you can um, only share certain data with the person with the link. Grouping, you, um, you can uh, group records based off field type. You cannot group by the attachment field type though. So let's say you want to group by items that are in stock. You can easily collapse these so you, so you can see an overview count and um, sum of unit costs. And this is also a great way for you to drag and drop items if you want to change um, values quickly. So this is in stock. If I drag it up here, um, it will show up as uh, not in stock. So as you drag and drop, you reassign values. And you can see here, this little shaded purple column shows me that I have updated based off the in stock, not in stock field type. Lastly, you can sort. And you can pick a field to sort by, and you can keep sorted if you always want to see information in a particular order. So this has been a quick tutorial on grouping, filtering, and sorting in Airtable. In the next part, I'll go over linking Airtable records. I'll see you there.